Hello friends, Kevin here, and you've heard of Madame Tussauds, the famous wax museums. Well, let me tell you something. Here in Playa del Carmen, they don't have that. They have Louis Tussauds. Ah yes, if you want something to laugh about, this is a must in Playa del Carmen. The figures are really bad with a few exceptions, but for a funny selfie, it's okay for the price of 199 pesos. It takes about a 15 minute walk, and the photographers are a little annoying, but like everyone else, they're just trying to make money. Out of the 50 characters here made out of wax, only 5 of them could be said to have some sort of a resemblance to the character, or person that they're portraying. And my favorite review? I'm in love with the photographer Manuel. What a handsome BB doll. I... Kikuki. <laughs> what? Okay, I gotta find Manuel. And, uh... Yeah. Hopefully he will be my photographer. And now they do have air conditioning. So that's a bonus. Let's go! You know, the Brasilis actually looks pretty good. So from the second you walk in, this place is pretty crammed. Uh, you get the wax museums from the get-go. So you get George Clooney, Robert Pattinson, and that guy from Fortnite. Terminator? Something like that. And uh, right behind you, you get Tom Cruise, baby. Tom Cruise. And he is, uh, he's looking pretty tall. You got Robert ja uh, Robert Downey Jr. over here in his Iron Man pose. And uh, I mean, this is supposed to be the mask. Right, right? At least they, at least they came close. This, this is close. We got Jackie Chan over here. And then a little to the right of that, you got the Beckhams. Oh yeah, there you go. That's our boy, David Beckham, Victoria Beckham. That forehead on her though. Also the measurements on these folks are pretty bad. I mean, um, Leonardo DiCaprio is supposed to be like six foot, I think. And some of these wax figures are starting to melt a little bit, as you can see this, here. This is supposed to be Madonna. It's not Madonna. Madonna, close your legs. Then you got Elvis Presley and uh, Katy Perry, everybody. Look at that. That's uh, that's Katy Perry over there. Perfect. You got Justin Bieber, which was the scariest statue out of all of them. He's got that, like, Mona Lisa stare. That's uh, Cy doing his famous Gangnam Style dance right next to Bob Marley. Um, and uh, this is really cool. The wax museum is actually built on top of a cenote, so there's a little hole down to the floor to show you guys the cenote. Okay. Me and Steve Jobs. Steve Yobes. And Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean has his own room. It's just a room for Mr. Bean. Messi, Ronaldo, Maradona. Folks, that hairline. The details on his upper lip is unbelievable. Then this is where it starts to take a different turn. A lot of these aren't even wax anymore. It's just like PVC statues. You got the entire um, Marvel series over here. And just on the side, there's no other DC characters. But for some reason, there's just this random Joker that looks terrible in the corner. It's just awful. Awful. Like a, like a Mexican woman wearing a wig. Awful. But Wolverine looks sweet. Down to the nose hair sweet. We have now entered the pirate area where we got Hook, uh, we got uh, uh, Peter Pan, and then we got Jack Sparrow over there, and uh, Spider Man, and uh, <laughs> The Simpsons, E.T., and uh, Cat's favorite portion of the Wax Museum, the Minions, because everybody knows Cat loves the Minions. Um, we did have a photographer for this part. Uh, they did take a bunch of photos. They were expecting us to pay for them, but um, also we weren't allowed to film in here at all. Uh, but we did anyways, and no one was the wiser because it was such a rainy day that they weren't expecting uh, anybody to show up to the wax museum. So we, <laughs> we were able to film this whole thing. Like these terrifying Simpsons characters. That doesn't look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> All in all, this place is, is pretty bad, but I mean, 
it it is what it is. We're having a good time. We came here to take a couple photos and film a video, and that's and that's what we're getting out of it. So everybody's saying that I'm not tall. Here is proof that I am much taller than the Smurfs. Taller than the Smurfs. You can't be that short if I'm taller than the Smurfs. Also, Patrick, for size comparison. Cat, the camera slightly. Different. See? Almost as tall as Patrick. Somebody pull up how tall Patrick is. Almost taller than Patrick. Ah, uh, yes, the Beatles. <laughs> I can't, I can't with the Beatles. I can't with the Beatles, guys. <laughs> the Beatles, everybody, the Wax Museum Beatles. Hello, friends, Kevin here, and I'm here with my three favorite cowboys, John Wayne, Chuck Norris, and Woody. We got the two Harry Potter figures over here. We got Voldemort and Harry Potter. Well, oh, those veins, those veins. And then on to the horror side of things. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely pissed. Cat, you're on your own. Love you, honey. Then you get these giant uh, figures of Star Wars. Now some of these are pretty good, like the Boba and the Stormtroopers, but those are just costumes. And then you got Yoda on the side, which is terrible. And the worst Chewbacca known to man. Look at this. Actually the worst. R2-D2 is not bad, but look at the sadness that you can see in Yoda's eyes. He's just, he's just so sad. He's just so sad. Oh my goodness. So there you have it. This is Louise Tussauds, and uh, it's not great. It's not terrible. Maybe uh, 10 to 15 wax statues in total, and you have to pay for the photos. But if you find the right photographer, you'll have a good time. Or you might fall in love, like we did with Manuel BB Ricky Cookie. <laughs> 3.5 out of 5 stars, folks. For more travel, gaming, food, and more, give us a subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.